It's a very good question. What does it mean, I am that I am? A friend of mine drove me to Tiburon yesterday, and he's a very, very serious student of the mysteries, spends much time daily, in spite of his business hours that he must give to the business where he works, with his concordance, and he came up with an excellent interpretation of that. He said, you speak, and the Bible speaks constantly, of two ages, this age and that age. So I am not only the God, I am the God of this, the world of Caesar, but that I am. Taking one from this level into that level. So there's no other God. So I am that I am also. For he's speaking of an entirely different world. We can't deny here that before man can do anything, man must first be. But that's obvious. I am. But can I believe that when I go into an entirely different sphere, I will confront the same I am? Yes. Under different circumstances, an entirely different world. But you can use it here, on this level, to make it as practical as you want. When you think of something, all right, it seems to be detached from you. Be perfectly still and assume I'm that. Until it ceases to be that and it becomes I am. Think of, for instance, take a little sub story of health or wealth. Well, there is health or there is wealth. I'm not feeling well and I'm not wealthy. So therefore it seems like that over there. But if I am all, I will assume I am healthy. Well, health seems to be other than myself when I began to assume it. I will draw it closer and closer and closer until I feel I am healthy or I am wealthy. The story of Isaac drawing his son clothed in the garment where he tried to deceive. Come close my son, come near my son that I may feel him. And so Jacob comes clothed as Esau and finally it is not out there anymore, it is here. The secret of making there here and then, now. Any other questions, please?